Metro Biotech just released a press release that was covered by Business Wire and Market Watch, and I assume others, announcing a new drug by David Sinclair and his company, Metro Biotech. And it's MIB725. Now, it appears to be a different or an alternative method to boost NAD levels in the body to help fight chronic diseases. Essentially, it's an NAD boosting drug, and they're dressing up NAD boosters as best they can in this press release as drugs. And not mentioning the fact that NMN or NR are healthy, natural ingredients that you can buy already that can boost NAD levels. That is never mentioned in this press release. So the whole press release reads as an investment-seeking advertisement. And I want to state right now that I am not anti-David Sinclair, not even anti-Metro Biotech. I'm anti-Sinclair Metro FDA teaming up to try to remove NMN from the market. It appears that they've deviated from that strategy. Although MIB626 is mentioned in this press release, most of the focus is on MIB725 going into phase one trials for safety. They do mention different acute diseases. This potential drug candidate could be used to treat. Interestingly, they are all caused or exacerbated by inflammation in the body. That being said, there's a big red flag with this entire release. And it's going to sound like, you know, I'm going to sound like I'm just ranting away against David Sinclair. And I'm telling you, I'm grateful for all of the efforts he made to make people like myself and viewers like you aware of NMN and the powerful effect that it has on the body as we age. And thousands of us probably millions around the world, have benefited from his efforts. He has said he didn't make any money for his efforts. That's on him. He had opportunities to partner with supplement companies, and he could have said, I approve of this ingredient, or I approve of this ingredient, and he could have made millions of dollars. That's on him. But he chose a different route. He chose to try to make NMN an exclusive drug, and it appears he has failed. We'll know for sure in a few short months. We'll see what unfolds from there. But this seems to be the first domino to fall. He's shifted his focus, his business focus, to MIB-725. Now, what is this drug? The press release mentions that both MIB-626 and MIB-725 differentially boost NED in mammals. Someone who understands legalese better than me can tell us. But it appears that they boost NAD levels in a different way in mammals. That's what I'm taking from it. So they're different. They're not the same. But they accomplished NAD boosting. Another thing that this press release mentions a couple times is that Metro Biotech is an Eden Rock Sciences company. Why is that significant? I've never heard of this company before. It seems to be an umbrella company owning several companies. I don't know if there was a purchase, a sale, a merger. Not sure what went on because I've never seen Metro Biotech referred to as an Eden Rock Sciences company before. And Eden Rock is a company, an umbrella company with several other sub companies. One of those sub companies is called UpRNA. And you guessed it, they develop RNA therapeutics to treat diseases. Now, why is that significant here? Well, if you read the disclaimer on the bottom, the forward-looking statement, there's a line that mentions microRNA and their involvement with cancer. You guys all have to decipher what that means, but why would you need to include a disclaimer about mRNA in a press release about a new drug that boosts NAD levels differently than MIB-626, a natural occurring vitamin that many people take as a supplement? So is that what's going on here? Are they really taking a different angle at this? Are they really going at NAD boosting and trying to own NAD boosting in a totally different way? Uh, Granted, a very pharmaceutical-oriented way to treat NAD levels with an mRNA-derived pharmaceutical. Now, you can, thankfully, still buy NMN as a natural ingredient, pure NMN. I get mine from Do Not Age. Do Not Age is a member of Natural Products Association, They joined to be a part of the lawsuit, so it's significant to bring that up. I joined just before, around the same time frame, but just before I even knew the lawsuit was going to be filed. So when you support Do Not Age, you're supporting the fight to maintain NMN, the only entity who has sued the federal government to protect NMN status as a dietary supplement. You're also supporting me when you use my code PULSE at Do Not Age. You save 10%. You support my efforts here on this channel as I continue to fight to protect NMN. Now, I want to get into one other aspect of this. That is the words that keep coming up over and over. Recently, I've heard these words, and I don't know who's driving this train, 
but you can do searches and find them, which is age flammation or inflammaging. Uh, that's my personal favorite. I like inflammaging. And this is the chronic inflammation that appears as we age. So if you remember, David Sinclair tried very hard to get aging to be considered a disease, and he made some headway with WHO, the World Health Organization. However, the United States is no longer a member of the World Health Organization. So it appears that they're trying to take this cure and find a disease for it. There are three acute diseases that they list as potential disease candidates for MIB-725, and they don't specifically mention inflammaging or age flammation in this press release. But it seems very convenient that these terms are coming up more and more in regards to medical acknowledgement of the dangers of inflammation on aging population. Essentially, they have a cure looking for a disease. So if you can create a disease, you have the cure for it, bingo, you have a drug. You have a real drug candidate with a very broad appeal, not just a single acute disease here and there, as is the case now. This is how they're starting out. We're going to treat this form of kidney disease, or we're going to treat this form of disease, this form of cancer, by boosting NAD levels. But you, again, can do that naturally. You could do that with a vitamin right now, today. And the last thing I'll leave you with today is the fact that many people have said, I'm going to wait for the Metro Biotech solution. I think he's going to come out with a better form of NED boosting than NMN. He's trying to make a superior form. It's going to be even better. And it's starting to look like that better is going to be an mRNA solution of some kind. So if that's what you're waiting for, natural ingredients are not the place for you. I suspect most of this audience wants to remain focused on natural ingredients to prevent various chronic diseases associated with aging. We want to do it naturally as much as possible. Taking an ingredient that exists right now in the food supply, taking it as a dietary supplement in a higher concentration, and hedging our bets that by being healthy, by reducing inflammation, which is what you're looking at when you see these little pockets of skin here, you're looking at the remnants of the reduced inflammation. I was puffed out like a balloon. My, my whole face, my whole head five years ago looked like a round blob. The reason I have some skin here that people call aging is because that's the remnants of getting rid of that inflammation or that inflammaging. So I know of what I'm speaking here. And I don't think we need to wait around for an mRNA solution to fight aging, to combat aging or inflammaging when we have the natural ingredient right now. Ultimately, what this press release, as I said, reads like is an advertisement for more investment. They've got a conglomerate that owns many companies. They're dressing up NED boosting as if it needs to be a drug. To me, there are red flags involved, which I've pointed out. To David Sinclair, you can come on this channel and talk to us about your intentions. Talk to us about the way things went down. Clear the air. Uh, we don't need David Sinclair to come on the pulse to have a good channel. Basically, something happened in January around the 20th <laughs> that turned around the fortunes of this channel. And I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful that we're able to reach people again. But if someone like David Sinclair would like to come and clear the air and explain in more detail what's going on here and what he's doing, we'd love to hear about it. In the meantime, waiting around for an mRNA solution to boost NAD levels in your body doesn't seem like the smartest thing to do. Make your own comments below, like the video, please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you soon.